only takes five seconds of looking around to realize how special this place is. Part of the human spirit wants song, wants to make an image, wants to make a mark, wants to use the power of words. If we can touch it, it's important. And it's important to the people who are here. I've learned a lot just from the processes that go on here that aren't art related. I'm kind of always amazed at like how much we're able to get done in a day. It happens because of all of us. When I was teaching on the quarter system and I was teaching art appreciation, I would bring students up here for fall break or spring break. And that then sort of grew into the, the summer program. But the real story is what a village it has become. Uh, they come here and this thing about this place that people get animated. They bring, they bring their souls into it. Uh, and I haven't seen that in most other places. There's such involvement as a community in the art itself uh, that it propels people into a certain way of dealing with art that I don't think you see in any other kind of context. You get up here and you get a work around, you know, depending on the group, 10 people, 20 people, 30 people, and you see what they do and you don't have any distractions. And the distractions that you do have are good ones, they're healthy ones. Whether it's cutting grass or sitting in the studio and applying paint to a canvas, I mean, it's, you know, there's just, you have time. A lot of us were completely different before we came here, and we didn't, it kind of helps you find yourself as an artist and as a person. This whole connection with everything, with the people, with nature, with with the art itself, it's just so strong and so magnetic. You just get drawn to it and you, you crave it. And there's something about this place and uh, geography and the way that time unfolds that creates a sense of community and kind of interreliance that teaches you to be resourceful and to be flexible and to um, find what you need from others and use that and pull that into your work. It really helps your ideas develop in a very mature way. It's like just about everybody here is from Charlotte and it's kind of weird coming this far away from Charlotte to meet everybody. <laughs> but, but it's nice and it's nice that when I'm done this experience, when I go back to Charlotte, like I'll know like these same people will be available. I find I get stuck in a rut and I don't push myself further enough. And it's nice to have somebody there who thinks I can achieve more or they know I can achieve more. And even when I'm stuck and I think I've hit where as far as I can go, Elizabeth or Suzanne was there kind of just pushing me like, no, you can do better. Your potential is so much more. They don't leave reality. They come here to find another kind of very vibrant, very important reality. I've never had a student yet up here who, who isn't interested in bringing their wonder and curiosity out into the natural, beautiful world that surrounds the farm. And so what is going on is an engagement of the imagination. Just as a person, I'm so uh, delighted to see what uh, people are able to uh, realize in themselves. I see them for an entire week, once a year, and I've seen some people blossom amazingly, just beautifully. I mean, the development that happens is <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite uh, moving to see. I, I know I've changed, like I can feel that um, compared to when I first got here. And I've seen other people change. Uh, I've seen that in quite a few people and it's just kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it's apparent to other people how much I've changed, but it's kind of like how you, if you get taken out of the city and brought here, you can see what you've been missing. So I think if I leave here, I can see what I've taken. They'll always know that there are like-minded people who value their ideas, their reflections, and that's something we all need, especially as young people. I had that, and I think that's why I think it's so important. This space 
that Bill and Elizabeth Ross have provided. Um, it's so much more than just an art class. Is this is a space where a family, a community is born. And in this space, we're free to explore art and we're free to ex express our emotions and we're free to just accept each other where we are. Um, and that's the place where people come to know themselves. I feel like I, when I leave here, I know these, all these people inside out and they know me because there's uh, so much revealing of themselves through their work. So if we meet somewhere, we're part of a community. Um, and even if we don't, maybe we just meet in dreams, but it's there. It has an eternal aspect that way. Elizabeth is so intuitive. She teaches what life is, what relationships are, um, how to be strong, uh, how to be loving. She teaches a lot. You know, I supposedly own this place, but I know I'm simply a steward, you know, here for a little while. And uh, this place will be important to other people for a long time. If I can keep it going, I'll keep it going. As long as I can keep it going, I'm going. <laughs>